All right. So I got an email recently um, about Kittle's new AI tools and they're basically giving everyone free access to them until December 31st. You have like unlimited credits and whatnot. Um, and they have quite a few. You can take the, you know, the backgrounds out. Um, they have AI image generator like everybody else does. Um, oh, that's product background. Sorry, product background remover. Um, and then, so anyway, I saw this AI image vectorizer because I have a client that has a, um, a logo that's pretty small and I needed to vectorize it so I could make it larger. Um, so I wanted to try it. So I clicked on it. It opens up. You literally click this little vectorize your image thing. Um, and then I have mine was in black and white. So I uploaded it. I already did it. So I'm just going to click out of here and go here. This is it. Actually, um, you can see uh here let's go here and um you can see like this is the original logo it's only it's kind of small all right so um when i got the vectorized logo back from kittle uh that's what it looked like and this is obviously an svg so um i can make this really large so then i also saw that um creative fabrica has a new they have a creative fabrica studio and then they have a CF Spark Vectorizer. So I, again, drug my image in here. Um, and then and it took this one took a little bit longer than the Kittle one did. Uh, but when it finally was done, it gave me the whole thing. And, um, you know, it showed me side by side. This is the original image. This is the vectorized result. And um, you can go in. And if you really, you know, keep clicking and clicking and clicking, you can start seeing... Um, you know, how this is kind of jagged here where this is not. So it did its job. I went ahead and downloaded that. So um, when I actually like compared these two, so there's the Creative Fabrica um, SVG. So what I did was I opened them up and then exported them as, um, uh, as PNGs with transparent backgrounds because that's what I was gonna use them for. And um, when I got back, so this was the original. So you can see that here and uh, you can see if you start trying to make that, you know, big enough for a hoodie or something, you're going to start getting some jaggedy edges. So that's the original. Um, and then we've got, let's see, which is the one I wanted to. Okay. So this is what Kittle gave me back and um, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller just so you can see it here. But you see how it kind of messed up this R here and the P and the C and it, it just made it a little bit weird. The seven, um, it's not, it's not like the original, which you can see is just more of a standard font. Um, this kind of almost made it cartoony, I guess, with the Kittle one. Uh, the Creative Fabrica one um, is this one. And you can see, I'll try to make it about the same size as the other one, uh, the Kittle one. And you can see this, it still did it a little bit, but not near as much. The seven doesn't have that little pointy thing. Same with the P and the R here. Um, so I ended up obviously using this one, uh, the Creative Fabrica one versus the Kittle one. But I just wanted to show you guys that so um, you could kind of see uh, these two options that if you like both of them, as far as I, as far as I understand, are free. The Kittle one um, is at least free until December 31st. They'll probably start charging you credits for this. Um, but the Creative Fabrica one, I do have a subscription, a year subscription for it, which is like super cheap and incredible because they have you know millions of fonts and designs and templates and size charts and all kinds of things. Um, but for me, it was free to use this spark vectorizer and i haven't even gotten into the creative fabrica studio thing that um it's basically a canva knockoff <laughs> it's not as good as canva yet but um obviously they're probably it just came out so they're gonna kind of mess with that and probably make it better but anyway i just wanted to show you the difference between a kittle vector where you can see kind of uh, it just didn't do do the job that i'd hoped versus the creative fabrica one that did a much better job all right I uh, hope that helps you if you're looking to vectorize something and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.